Have you ever wondered why bones become weak and brittle as we age? It's a question that many of us ponder, especially as we grow older and begin to notice subtle changes in our bodies. But fear not, for we are about to delve into a topic that will shed light on this intriguing question. In this video, we will be exploring osteoporosis, a condition that affects millions of people worldwide. We'll uncover what osteoporosis is, how it develops, and the telltale signs that could indicate its presence. We'll also delve into the various ways it can be diagnosed and the treatment options that are currently available. Our journey will be a comprehensive one, as we aim to demystify this common yet often misunderstood condition. We will strive to provide insights that will empower you with knowledge and understanding about this health issue that affects so many. Get ready to unpack the mystery of osteoporosis, a common yet often misunderstood condition. Osteoporosis, from the Greek words osteon, meaning bone, and poros, meaning poor, literally translates to porous bone. This term alone gives us a basic understanding of what the condition is about, a state where our bones, the very foundation of our body, become so porous and weak that they're more susceptible to fractures. Now let's delve a bit deeper to understand this condition. Imagine your bones as a honeycomb structure. In a healthy bone, the honeycomb is dense and strong, providing a sturdy foundation. But in the case of osteoporosis, the holes and spaces in the honeycomb are much larger, meaning the bone has lost density or mass. In other words, there's less bone, and what's left is brittle and can break easily. Osteoporosis is a progressive condition. It creeps up on us slowly, often over several years, so much so that it's often only diagnosed when a minor fall or a sudden impact causes a bone fracture. It's like a silent thief, sneaking up on us, slowly robbing the strength of our bones without us even realizing it. This condition is not just about broken bones, though. It's a systemic issue that affects overall health and well-being. It can lead to chronic pain, decreased ability to carry out day-to-day -day activities, and in severe cases, it can cause disability. The most commonly affected bones are the hip, spine, and wrist. But osteoporosis can affect any bone in your body. It's like a ticking time bomb, waiting for the right moment to strike. Osteoporosis is more common than you might think. It affects millions of people worldwide. In fact, if we were to line up everyone over the age of 50 who has osteoporosis, the line would stretch around the earth more than three times. That's a lot of people dealing with this condition. But remember, knowledge is power. Understanding osteoporosis, how it works and how it affects our bodies is the first step towards managing it. So, osteoporosis is a silent thief, slowly stealing the strength of our bones without us even knowing. Now you might be wondering, what causes this bone weakening condition? Well, osteoporosis has multiple causes, some of which are within our control, while others are not. Let's delve into some of the main culprits. One of the most common causes, particularly in women, is a reduction in estrogen levels that occurs at menopause. Estrogen, a hormone that both men and women produce, plays a crucial role in maintaining bone strength. When women reach menopause, their estrogen levels drop significantly, leading to an increase in bone loss. This is why postmenopausal women are at a higher risk of developing osteoporosis. Certain medications can also lead to osteoporosis if used long term. These include corticosteroids, which are often used to treat conditions like asthma and arthritis, and some anti-seizure medications. These drugs can interfere with the body's bone remodeling process, causing bone loss over time. Unhealthy lifestyle choices are another significant contributor. Smoking, for instance, can harm your bones, it reduces blood flow to the bones, slows the production of bone-forming cells, and impairs the absorption of calcium, a mineral that's essential for bone health. Excessive alcohol consumption has a similar effect. It can inhibit the body's ability to absorb calcium and vitamin D, another essential nutrient for bone health. Lack of exercise is also a major cause of osteoporosis. Our bones, like our muscles, need to be used to stay strong. Weight-bearing and resistance exercises are particularly beneficial as they stimulate the bone-forming cells and help to maintain bone density. So to sum it all up, Osteoporosis can be triggered by several factors, some of which we can control, like our lifestyle choices, and others that we can't, like menopause. But remember, while these factors can increase the risk, they don't guarantee that you'll develop osteoporosis. Many factors play a role in bone health, 
In essence, osteoporosis is the result of an imbalance in the body's bone remodeling process. It's a silent disease, but there are some signs and symptoms that might indicate osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is often referred to as a silent disease because it can progress without any signs or symptoms until a fracture occurs. But if you pay close attention, there are some subtle changes that you might notice. One of the most common symptoms of osteoporosis is back pain, which is usually caused by a fractured or collapsed vertebra. This is not your typical back pain from a long day at work or a strenuous workout. It's a persistent pain that doesn't seem to go away and may become worse when standing or walking. Another symptom to watch out for is a gradual loss of height over time. This might be a bit difficult to notice, especially as we often attribute height loss to normal aging, but with osteoporosis, this height loss can be more than what's typically expected. So, if you notice that you're not as tall as you used to be, it might be a good idea to talk to your doctor about it. A stooped posture, also known as kyphosis or a dowager's hump, is another symptom of osteoporosis. This happens when the vertebrae in the spine collapse, causing the upper back to curve more than usual. This can lead to a hunched or stooped appearance. Lastly, fractures that occur more easily than expected can also be a sign of osteoporosis. These are often called fragility fractures, and they can happen from minor falls or, in severe cases, even from simple actions like sneezing or bending over. While these symptoms may seem minor, they could be indicative of a major underlying issue, so if you notice any of these signs, it's important to take them seriously and consult with your healthcare provider. Remember, early detection is key when it comes to managing osteoporosis effectively. While these symptoms may seem minor, they could be indicative of a major underlying issue. If you suspect osteoporosis, it's important to get a diagnosis. So, how exactly is osteoporosis diagnosed? The process involves a combination of medical history reviews and specific tests, the most common of which is the bone mineral density test, also known as a BMD test. During a medical history review, your healthcare provider will ask about your personal and family health history. They'll want to know about any broken bones you've had in the past, whether you've experienced any sudden back pain or loss of height, and if you've noticed a change in your posture. They'll also ask about your lifestyle habits like diet, exercise, and whether you smoke or consume alcohol. The BMD test, on the other hand, is a painless, non-invasive procedure. It's a bit like getting an x-ray. This test measures the amount of bone mineral you have in a certain area of bone, usually your hip and spine. The results of a BMD test are often reported as a T-score, which compares your bone density to that of a healthy 30-year-old adult of the same sex. If your T-score is minus 2.5 or lower, you are diagnosed with osteoporosis. Now, you might be wondering why early detection is so important. Well, osteoporosis is a progressive disease which means it gets worse over time if left untreated. The earlier it's detected, the sooner you can start treatment to slow down bone loss, reduce the risk of fractures, and maintain your quality of life. Moreover, knowing that you have osteoporosis can help you and your healthcare provider develop a personalized plan to protect your bones. This plan may include changes to your diet and exercise routine, medications, or other treatments. Remember, Osteoporosis is not a normal part of aging, and it's not something you have to accept. It's a serious condition. But with early detection and the right treatment plan, you can live a healthy, active life. With timely diagnosis, osteoporosis can be managed and its progression can be slowed. So if you suspect you might have osteoporosis, don't wait. Speak to your healthcare provider about getting a bone density test today. Although osteoporosis is a chronic disease, it's not without treatment options. This is a crucial point to remember in our journey to understanding this bone weakening condition. Let's start with lifestyle changes, the first line of defense against osteoporosis. A healthy diet and regular exercise play pivotal roles in maintaining bone health. Consuming calcium rich foods like dairy products, leafy greens and fish can help replenish the body's calcium supply, a key component in bone formation. Vitamin D, which aids in calcium absorption, is also essential and can be obtained from sunlight exposure and foods like fatty fish and fortified dairy products. Moreover, regular physical activity, particularly weight-bearing and resistance exercises, can help build and maintain strong bones. These exercises force you to work against gravity, promoting bone formation. 
walking, jogging, tennis, and strength training are all excellent choices. However, lifestyle changes alone may not be enough for some individuals, and that's where medication comes into play. There are several types of drugs available that can help slow bone loss and even build new bone. Bisphosphonates, for instance, are commonly prescribed for osteoporosis. These drugs slow the rate at which bones are broken down, allowing the body's natural bone-building processes to catch up. Another category of drugs, known as selective estrogen receptor modulators or SERMs, mimic the bone-preserving effects of estrogen without some of the risks associated with hormone therapy. Denosumab, a newer drug, works by inhibiting a protein that activates bone breakdown. It's usually given as an injection twice a year. And lastly, there are bone-building medications. Teriparatide, a form of parathyroid hormone, is one such drug that stimulates new bone growth. It's typically reserved for individuals with severe osteoporosis who have a high risk of fractures. In some cases, surgery may also be an option. This is usually considered when osteoporosis has led to painful fractures or significant spinal deformities. Procedures like vertebroplasty and kyphoplasty involve injecting bone cement into fractured vertebrae to relieve pain and restore spinal stability. Remember, these treatment options are not one size fits all. What works best will depend on a variety of factors including your age, sex, risk of fracture, and overall health. It's essential to work closely with your healthcare provider to determine the best course of action for you. And let's not forget about prevention. Regular bone density tests can help detect osteoporosis early, when treatment is most effective. Avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol, which can accelerate bone loss, is also crucial. Remember, treatment is most effective when started early, and it often involves a multifaceted approach. So arm yourself with the right knowledge, make the necessary lifestyle changes, and seek medical help when needed. Together we can fight osteoporosis and build a future of stronger bones. So, we've learned quite a bit about osteoporosis today. And in the spirit of reinforcing this knowledge, let's take a moment to review the key takeaways. First off, we dove into the fundamental definition of osteoporosis, a condition that causes bones to become weak and brittle, so brittle that even a mild stressor like coughing or bending over can cause a fracture. We learned that osteoporosis-related fractures most commonly occur in the hip, wrist or spine areas of our body that not only provide structural support but also aid in our mobility. We then explored the causes of osteoporosis, understanding that our bones are in a constant state of renewal. New bone is made and old bone is broken down. When we're young, our body makes new bone faster than it breaks down old bone and our bone mass increases. Osteoporosis occurs when the creation of new bone doesn't keep up with the removal of old bone. Factors that can tip the balance towards more bone loss include age, race, lifestyle choices, and certain medical conditions and treatments. From there, we talked about the symptoms of osteoporosis. Often, there are no symptoms in the early stages of bone loss. But once osteoporosis has caused your bones to become weak, you might have signs such as back pain caused by a fractured or collapsed vertebra, loss of height over time, a stooped posture, or a bone fracture that occurs much more easily than expected. We also discussed the diagnosis of osteoporosis. The process begins with a thorough medical history and physical exam. Additional tests may include a bone density test, which is the most commonly used method to measure bone mass and hence predict the risk of bone fractures. And finally, we covered the treatment of osteoporosis. The goals of osteoporosis treatment are to control the pain associated with the disease, slow down or stop bone loss, prevent bone fractures with fall prevention, and minimize the risk of fractures with medication when necessary. We also highlighted the importance of a healthy diet rich in calcium and vitamin D, regular exercise to strengthen bones and prevent falls, and lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking and limiting alcohol. It's important to remember that early detection and management of osteoporosis can significantly improve your quality of life and reduce the risk of fractures. Awareness of your personal risk factors can empower you to take steps towards prevention and treatment. So, let's keep in mind that our bones are our body's foundation, and taking care of them is an investment in our overall health and longevity. Knowing about osteoporosis is the first step towards strong bones and a healthier future. So keep learning, stay active, and take care of your bones.